Boy's book accidentally drifted into the sea. It happened to float into the face of a young girl. She managed to swim to the shore, but as soon as she opened her eyes, she found a boy looking straight at her. He told her not to be afraid of herself. He's actually a retarded kid, so he wouldn't hurt anyone. Seeing that he was mentally handicapped, the girl told him to stay away from the beach because it can be dangerous after high tide. But on the way back, she found that he was following her. No matter how much she refused, he didn't want to leave, so she told him to turn around. Reciting the multiplication words aloud, the boy obediently recited it from beginning to end. But by the time he turned around, the girl was gone. His name is Roy and he has Down syndrome. Although his IQ is only 5 years old, but he never lets anyone else take care of him. He is optimistic and kind. If someone called him a fool, he doesn't get angry. He would explain to others. He wasn't stupid. He was just sick. Roy's family was quite well off. His parents and brother were very good to him. But Roy rarely asked for money from his family. He insisted on being self-reliant. He worked in a bun shop. Roy loved to read books. His favorite is the story of the Prince of the Forest and the Mermaid. But his friendliness was not rewarded with kindness. One day Roy was confronted by two thugs. They not only tore up his storybook, they stole his wallet. They even ended up taking his mobile phone. Roy felt bad. It wasn't that he had been beaten up by the thugs. It was the fact that they had torn up his favorite storybook. A sea breeze blew. The pages of the mermaid just floated out to sea. That's when Roy suddenly noticed a maiden swimming in the distance. He thought a mermaid had come out of a storybook, so he rushed over to her. That's how the scene began. The girl had just been tricked by a debtor into going on a boat. She jumped into the sea to escape. The two of them were walking back together, but the girl fell down accidentally. She told Roy to leave her alone, but he insisted on following her anyway. In that fairy tale, the prince of the forest was always protecting the mermaid, so Roy wouldn't leave. The girl finally had no choice. She had to trick Roy to get back to work. She was a woman of the world. She had a gambling father who only asked her for money. She had to pay her father's debts. She had no choice but to work in a bar. But little did she know, Roy had been out all night trying to find her. Roy's mother couldn't reach her because her phone had been taken by a gangster. When he got home, he was scolded. His mother just thought he was lost. She couldn't control her emotions for a while. But Roy didn't take it personally because he had finally met the mermaid. He even dreamed of the girl's face. From then on, Roy has been going to the beach every day and sat there all day long, but never saw the mermaid in his mind again. He had no choice. Roy had to ask his only friend, Tom, to help him. Although Roy was not very intelligent, but he knew that you couldn't ask someone to do something empty-handed. So he bought two packs of cigarettes. It wasn't that Tom didn't want to help Roy. It's just that the mermaid Roy talks about is a fairy tale. He didn't know where to look either. He just told Roy he'd give it a try. It was fate. This day on the bus, Roy saw the girl again. This made him very excited. So he rushed to the driver's side. He kept shouting that he wanted to get off the bus. But for interfering with the driver's safety, he was arrested and taken to the police station. His mother was there for a long time to explain. It took a long time to get Roy released on bail. When he returned home, his mother had a big fight with his father. She accused him of only working and never caring about his son. But he was also very upset. The next day, the shop manager suddenly came to Roy's house. The mother then learns that Roy hadn't been at work recently. She wondered, what was the reason for Roy's recent behavior? She thought about it and found Tom. She had always thought that Tom was a jerk, so he wasn't very friendly either. But from what he told her, Roy must be in love with some girl. That's why he kept looking for some mermaid. When she got home in the evening, the mother had a long talk with Roy. She may have misunderstood her son's thinking, and thought that Roy was just old enough to fall in love, and wanted to have a family. So the next day she arranged a blind date for him, who was also a Downs child. But Roy didn't like it. In his heart, the mermaid's place was irreplaceable. He still didn't give up looking for the girl. He was always pestering Tom to find a way. Tom couldn't do anything about it. He had to ask a friend to contact a bar girl, pretending to be a mermaid, to help Roy fulfill his dream. But little did he know, the girl is the mermaid Roy has been looking for. Fate brings them together again. It was the first time someone really liked her. Lisa's heart felt warm. Such innocence without any prejudice. Even though Roy's intelligence was that of a child. But only that fondness of his was the purest of all.